also whereas in the given you know, the diagram uh, all the numbers are given in the sorted uh, if it is not sorted you are supposed to sort it otherwise not required it's a linear search it's not a problem uh, for a linear search sorting is an optional our job is uh, we need to identify just a minute i'm getting a call Yeah, so here uh, we are trying to understand what is the meaning of the linear search. The first uh, important thing all of you must remember is uh, we need to have some key. Generally, key stands for uh, the number which you are trying to uh, look in the uh, given array. So here example is find 37. So our job is to identify 37 is present or not. If it is present, we need to tell it is available and uh, at what position it is available. So these two things are important. So linear search is very simple. Uh, for the given number, which is 37, is compared with starting with the index 0. Uh, I'm comparing with the index 0, the number uh, 37 is compared with the 20. Is it equal or unequal? That's what. The given number is 37, and at the index 0, what is the number? 20. 20. So is it uh, same or different? Different. Different. So your job is simply improve the index. So i is the i plus plus, then i will be 1. The 37 remains key, key is compared with the second index. Then 37 compared with the 35. Is it uh, same or different? Different. Different, right? Again, I plus plus. The I will be incremented so that I am going to compare 37 with the 37. Is it equal or unequal? Equal. Then you return the index. So what is the index of the 37 now? 2, isn't it? So we are supposed to return the index of the available number in the array, but there is no rule that uh, the given number might be present in the array. If it is not present, you have to uh, search each and every uh, index. Finally, once you reach the end of the array, if no comparison is giving a successful comparison means the equality, you simply say that uh, the given key is not available in the given array. Something like that you can uh, just print on the screen. Okay, That is called a linear search. So very simple rule to perform the linear search. Now, coming to the binary search, it's slightly different. The condition for the binary search is it has to be in sorted array. So by any means, you are given an array which is not in sorted format. You have to sort it. So according to you, the given array now, is it a sorted form or unsorted form? 
you tell me in this particular ppt or in this slide the numbers which are given in the array are arranged in a sorted uh, form or unsorted form tell me sorted means either ascending or descending order right instead of randomly you know given uh, the numbers whereas in the previous one here also sorted one here also sorted one uh, so condition for the binary search it, it must be in the sorted way so lower number must be first then next lowest then like that till you get, get the final is it an ascending order basically lower number to the higher number uh, so it is called uh, the one of the uh, the condition for the binary search in the examination if at all you are given an array which is an unsorted format first you need to apply the sorting so how to sort the given array that then you are going to discuss after this particular you know, technique the sorting technique once you get the uh, array in sorted format then you can apply the binary search otherwise you cannot apply the binary search it is applicable only for the sorted arrays so the algorithm is very simple always you try to find the middle of the index so what is the starting index here for the given uh, array you must have two three three variables the first variable name is the first the second variable will be the middle and third variable will be the last they, you should declare at least three variables so first variable always uh, starts with index 0 last variable must be updated with the length of the array which is last uh, length minus one index actually so length of the array is 9 here so last will be updated by 9 minus 1 8 then middle must be calculated so the middle is going to be calculated like uh, the lower index plus higher index or last index so 0 plus 8 by 2 what is the value will get it 4 isn't it yes or no yes, sir. so always my job is the given input we are interested to uh, compare the 37 now always our interest is to compare your given uh, uh, the key with the middle index so you are comparing 37 with the middle index the middle index will be the 4 so array of 4 what is the array of 4 value here 45 45 so which is not true if it is true you return the middle otherwise what i'm supposed to do modification going to happen so here the second option else if uh second condition or third condition which is going to be true now in this particular example array of middle is 45 and 37 is left hand side so second condition is true or third condition is true respond 37 less than array of middle is right or 37 greater than array of middle is right 37 less than array of middle. yeah 37 is less than array of middle is right in that case what is your job is you need to modify only variable called high so high is going to be modified with middle minus one so what is middle value? Tell me. Other way I will tell. If your if your key will be less than the middle, it will be in the first half. If your key will be greater than the middle, it will be in the second half. I hope this is clear to all of you. Okay. You're trying to compare the given key with the middle of the array. If it is not equal, obviously it will be either less than the middle or greater than the middle, isn't it? If it is less than the middle, it will be in first half. When it is the first half, last variable must be modified or first variable must be modified as per your thinking. You tell me. Respond. Always you need to have three variables, first, middle and last. In the first attempt itself, I find the 37 is less than the middle. Now, according to that particular case, my uh, 37 will be generally in the first half, but where it is, I do not know. So my job is I need to modify one of the three variables, mostly last or first out of these two. So according to the, if it is the first half, the last variable must be updated. So which is given as high is equal to or last is equal to anything is okay. So you can say last is equal to middle minus one. What is the value of the middle? What is the value of the middle in the first case? Respond. What is the middle variable in the first case? 45. 4. 4. Index I'm talking about. Middle means? 4. four. Index, right? So 4 minus 1, how much? 3. 3. 
now in the second pass i am going to have first will be pointing to the index 0 uh the last will be pointing to the index 3 again you are supposed to calculate the middle now in this case second time when middle is calculated in the second for loop actually or second iteration can you tell me what is the middle value you are going to get it the second iteration the last is going to be 3 and uh, what is the middle value you are going to calculate 0 plus 3 by 2 how much you will get it Tell me, one point five is not valid, so you have only integers. So one point five will be approximated to what? One or two? We have uh, seen in the very beginning classes. Any fraction value for a given integer, it will ignore. Fractional part only integer is going to be acceptable. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So middle is going to be one. Index one, isn't it? So in the second iteration, thirty-seven is again compared with the middle. So thirty-seven double equal to array of middle. Middle is equal to one. So what is array of one here? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. So thirty-seven less than thirty-five is correct, or thirty-seven greater than thirty-five is correct? Thirty-seven greater than thirty-five. So I need to go to the modify the low. It means first one. First is equal to middle plus one. So middle was one. So low is going to become one plus one two. So now my first variable becomes. Two now, okay. So first variable is two, and uh, the last variable remains three only. So two and three. Now again, I'm trying to compare thirty-seven with array of middle. True or false? Tell me. One plus two by two, how much it will be? Everybody is following what I'm trying to tell. See, it's very important thing. You will uh, come to a position where it will exactly match with the array of middle. In that case, you have to return the middle, and don't think that always the first, middle, and last must be different. Sometimes first and middle might be same index. Sometimes middle and last will be same index, or else middle will be separate, and uh, your uh, number might be compared successfully. These three possibilities are going to happen. Is that clear to all of you? I'm repeating. During the process, you will arrive to a three possible cases. The case one, the index one and middle will be same. They are pointing to the same position, and last will be different. This is the case one. The case two, uh, first is a separate variable, whereas middle and last is going to be pointing to the same location. Third case. Uh, the location for the first is different. Location for the middle is different. Location for the last is different. So either of these three cases, you are coming. You are going to come across, and then accordingly, you are going to return the array of middle is equal to the given key. Simply, you return the middle. Middle will be the uh, the position where you now the particular key is available. Is that clear to all of you? Shall I go to the next slide? We will we will write a program for this anyhow. Don't worry. So shall I go to the next slide? Respond. Don't keep quiet. I understand. Evening is very tough, but uh, I have no choice. You have to respond. Okay, sir. Yeah. So coming to the binary search here, an example is given here, where uh, first will be twenty, then last will be the sixty-seven. Then you said uh, the middle is going to be the one. Again, here thirty-seven is compared with the thirty-five, where. Uh, The thirty-seven will be the second half. When it is second half, first has to be modified. Now first will be middle plus one. So middle plus one means the first is going to be second index, and last is going to be third index. Then uh, when you get first and last index are modified, so two plus three by two. What is two plus three by two? Two point five, which is two. So now. first and middle is going to point to the same location you can see here middle and first are going to the point to the same location again i am comparing if 37 double equal to the array of middle which is true or false respond 37 double equal to array of middle is true or false nobody is responding I hope everybody is attending the class, right?
Should I ask by name? Vajid, are you there? Sir. Yeah, so you tell me, is the condition is true or false? 37 w equal to RF middle. False. True or false? False. Huh? Vajid, tell me. Sir. Is it true or false? True, sir. True. What way? How do you know it is true? Tell me. 37 is equal to... Yeah, 37 is equal to... Array of... What is the index? Middle. Array of what is the index? 2. 2. So, array of 2 is what number? 37. 37. So it is, will be true. When it is true, what I am supposed to return? Middle. I have to return the index. So index is nothing but middle only, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, this is simple binary search. So middle will be the number two, then you can simply return the middle. So if not found, uh, you need to repeat this process until the first variable low is going to become greater than high. So generally low must be greater than high right from the beginning. The moment low is uh, going to be uh, greater than a high, you simply say that no more, uh, the key is not available. This is uh, when to stop actually, okay? Is that clear? Anyway, I'll try to execute one or two programs. Let me take now the second part of sorting techniques. Then we'll do some programs, all uh, four possibilities. Fine, so next is called, uh, that is searching technique, either linear search where uh, the array, array need not to be sorted form, whereas binary search array must be in sorted form where you need to follow certain algorithm. First, middle and last, always you compare with the middle. If number is in the first half, uh, the last must be modified. If uh, number in the second half, first must be modified. You have to repeat until the first becomes greater than the last or high, something like that. So that is a, uh, the binary search. Now I'm trying to explain uh, the sorting and uh, how many types of sorting techniques are available. So coming to the meaning of a sorting is very simple. Uh, it is uh, going to refer to the operations of uh, arranging a set of a data in a given order. It could be ascending order or descending order. Anything is okay. So if you look at the array one, where some numbers are mentioned, 30, 10, 60, 20, 50, 40, which are randomly they are you know, uh, located. They are not at all uh, either in ascending form or descending form. Then we are trying to make them in ascending form, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. This is called sorted list. So when the numbers in the given array are going to be like following some kind of you know, ascending or descending order, we call that particular array is a sorted array. So this is uh, compulsory, you know, for uh, applying the binary search algorithm. So coming to the uh, um, types of the sorting, we have internal sorting and external sorting. But anyhow, we are trying to discuss on external sorting. But only for the definition point of view, just uh, you must remember what do you mean by internal and external sorting. If all the data to be sorted can be adjusted in main memory, then it is called as the internal sorting. And uh, whereas for the external sorting, the data is to be stored in a large and uh, acquires external memory, then the type is called external. It's something like in the RAM, you are going to uh, sort, it's called internal. In the hard disk, if you are going to sort, it's called external. Okay. So we are not interested in uh, the internal or external sorting, only the methods of sorting is important. So as per the syllabus, only two things are given, bubble sort and selection sort. Uh, but uh, one more technique is called insertion sort is also available. So I'll try to discuss uh, bubble and selection sort and uh, insertion sort also, uh, if at all, no. A question might come for the other techniques also. So let me start with the bubble sort, the name, the technique for you know, arranging the unsorted list into a sorted list. So here the algorithm is very simple. Coming to the bubble sort, algorithm of the bubble sort includes two steps repeated until the list is sorted. So what is the first step is you must compare adjacent elements always. When I say adjacent elements, index zero should be compared with the index one. 
index 1 should be compared with the index 2 index 2 should be compared with the index 3 this is called adjacent uh, no uh, elements which are needs to be compared and in this process if the elements on the right side is smaller than the uh, uh, left side then you simply say that you have to swap the positions swap the position means the index uh, 0 element should be swapped with the index 1 element because your interest is if i am trying to perform the ascending order and first element is greater than the second element obviously you need a swapping so second element will come first first will become second so it is a continuous process again uh, once you do the uh, swapping between this zero and first element then you need to come uh, move to the first and second once you have done with one and two then you need to move to the two and three so it has to be continued until uh, size minus two with size minus one if array size is 10 the maximum index is nine so mag the last comparison that you can perform is eight and nine. So you must be very careful while giving the uh, iteration, you know, i variable in terms of the comparison. So i minus size will be compared with, sorry, size minus uh, one will be compared with the size minus two. That is the last means the loop must be repeated until size minus two. If size minus one you keep, the last element cannot be compared with the element you no know, which does not exist so you must be very careful while doing this process but step one you must be very careful it is very simple uh, technique adjacent element must be compared and uh, if at all the uh, first element second element and so on sorry uh, you have to perform the swapping coming to the step two uh, compare first element second element and so on completion of the past one the largest element will be at the last position if you do this process continuously uh, at the end of all you know uh, comparisons and swapping you will end up with getting the highest number at the last position but still the uh, the overall uh, no the numbers in the array are not sorted only the highest number has reached to the last position so it is called partially you are uh, no technique is started actually it is not completed so it's called pass one and the pass one after performing this successful you know, comparison and swapping the highest element will be is going to be located at the last uh, last no or uh, last position next what we do is except the last position you have to repeat the same procedure means we ignore the last position because already it is highest among the given integers you ignore it remaining n minus one numbers you are supposed to perform the same process so second last element will be the next highest number for the remaining you know the elements so like that you have to repeat the process until size minus one number of passes so here it is given the example the number of passes will be maximum minus one number which is if there are five elements i need to repeat the process for four times so here it is given max minus one so five minus one will be four passes so here let us see first pass here uh, the given elements are 50 10 30 20 and 40 so as I said, I am trying to compare 50 and 10. So 50 is greater than the 10. So I need to, uh, I need to you know, swap. So 10 will be coming first and 50 is going to be the next. Then 1 and 2 must be compared, index 1 and 2, where 50 and 30 are compared. Again, 50 is greater than 30. I need to perform the swapping. So 30 will come in the second position. 50 will come to the third position. Again, between third and fourth, I need to compare where 50 and 20 are compared. Again, 50 is greater than 20, I need to perform swapping. So in place of 50, 20 will come and in place of 20, 50 will come. So finally, the last swapping, which is size minus two, I said, 50 is going to be compared with the four, then I'm going to get, so first element is size minus two, which is five is there. So three, five minus three, two. So third element is compared with the fourth index. So finally, uh, 50 number is reached at the last position but still the first four numbers are not in sorted so this whole process is called one pass so it is the name called pass so how many more passes we need to repeat means already it is given in the first mathematically the max minus one so length of the array minus one times so one time is over still we need to repeat the procedure for three times now you can see 50 you assume that 50 is not part of your no the uh, searching technique now again i'll repeat 10 and 30 will be compared 10 and 30 where 10 is lesser than the 30 don't swap it as it is then 30 and 20 are compared where 30 is greater than 20 you need to perform a swapping so 30 will be replaced by 20 and 20 will be replaced by 30 i think here uh, the second uh, 
uh, one tell you one and two when you compare uh, there is a small change actually uh, here update is not happening at the third row in the third row second element should be 20 and third element should be 30 okay so that is not given correctly you can uh, don't uh, follow that particular no uh, the sequence it has to be 20 30 40 50 actually now coming to uh, next one uh, that's it you need not to compare anymore so in that case you'll get 10 20 30 40 50 again you need to repeat pass 3 where actually it is not given it must be swapped so here swapping may not be happening uh, actually 10 and 20 will be compared so no swapping is required 20 and 30 will be compared no swapping is required that's it that's the end of the pass 3 then 20 will be the third last element which will be reaching at the position of third last then in the last one 10 and uh, 20 will be compared and no uh, no more uh, swapping is needed so th 20 remains th 20 only so i think uh, still the last one even though it is uh, telling sorted list it is not correct it should be 10 20 30 40 50 so don't go by this particular numbers uh, it is given in the you know misprinted so be careful don't uh, go by this there is a small change in the uh, the you no know, the list of you no know, ascending orders so this is very simple why it is called bubble sort means you can see in the first pass can anybody tell uh, 50 is directly jumping into the last position or it is going through every position of the index actually 50 was available in the first position finally it is going to the last position does it directly jump into the 50 last position or it is traveling through each and every index respond each and every index yeah that is called bubble bubble is like something like one place to the next place then next place to the next place it's called bubbling basically so it is called bubbles basically so that is the reason name is given bubble sort uh, coming to the selection sort it is direct jump actually i'll tell you what is the meaning of a direct jump so in the second technical selection sort here uh, in the selection sort the algorithm depends on the zeroth element majorly so we are not interested in uh, swapping between adjacent element but swapping still there and number of passes also remain same like you no know, uh, for the your uh, uh, first one uh, bubble sort only so the zeroth element is compared with the first element and if the element at the right is found smaller then their positions are swapped or exchanged so first one is compared with the second element if you find the first one is greater than the second one you try to swap it but uh, don't swap again second and third always swap uh, compare with the first element with the remaining element so this is a continuous process that is the only difference the same procedure is carried with the all the elements of the list resulting into a fully sorted list but not in one pass multiple passes are required so here one more example is given the number of passes remains four uh, so given inputs are 23 15 29 11 and 1 so first position will be 23 so 23 is compared with the first uh, index one so 23 and 15 swapping is required or not required the zeroth element is compared with the first element swapping is needed or not needed you tell me respond always we want higher number should be towards right side isn't it so 23 is greater than 15 or less than 15 respond should i go for swapping or not anyone from the class so 23 is greater than 15 i must uh, swap so that is the reason 15 will come and 23 will be second position again i'm going to compare first element with the third element 15 is compared with the 29 so not required 15 is compared with 11 then it is required so 11 will be swapped with the 15 so you will get first position fourth position exchanged then first position compared to the last element 11 and 1 so in this case also one must be swapped with the 11 so finally after the first pass <coughs> lowest element will be at the first position slightly reverse way so once you do this process the lowest element will be uh, taking place at the first position then i'm trying to repeat the same procedure by ignoring the first one now my zeroth element will be 23 now so because we we try to ignore the first element already it is the lowest among the given numbers now again 23 will be compared with the 29 no need of swapping 
23 is compared with the 15. Yeah, there is a need of a swapping. So 15 and 29 will be 23. Uh, again, there's something. Yeah, there is some change. Some some again there is a mistake in the you know given numbers 23 29 no swapping 23 15 there is a swapping is needed so 15 uh, 29 23 actually the second one it has to be again you will get 15 with 11 then 11 must be compared with the 15 then 11 will come in the second position 15 will come the last position so don't follow this but uh, slightly there is a difference uh, a different uh, Order will be there, so, but method is important. How to understand? After the second pass, you assume that first and second element are the two lowest elements which are already placed in the beginning of the array. Next, 23 is compared with the 29, not needed. 23 is compared with the 15, just needed. So we are trying to do here. 23 and 15 are getting swapped. So I think third element will be in the third position now, lowest element. So you are trying to repeat after pass three, three elements are already sorted. In the past four, you're trying to compare 29 with 23. There is a need of swapping. So 23 and 29 are sorted. So finally, your system, uh, that uh, numbers in the array are sorted form. Is that clear? Is that clear to all of you? See, you need to practice uh, as many uh, examples as possible for the sorting. Uh, because just I'm trying to explain how it is going to happen, the methodology. Uh, here, uh, there is a generally in the interview question, they will ask, right? Uh, bubble sort is better or uh, the this one is better. So it is all depends on how many swappings are going to happen for final sorting array. Whichever algorithm is giving a less number of swappings, that will be the faster one among the two. So you must be very careful. You cannot just like that say that, no, the bubble sort is better than selection sort or selection sort is better than bubble sort. For any given case, you try to see that how many swappings are. Worst condition you should consider. Worst condition in the bubble sort at every adjacent comparison, you assume that this swapping takes place. Similarly, in the selection sort also, you try to understand there is a possibility of swapping takes place. And finally, you compare and which one, whichever is going to take less number of swapping, that will be the best method. So coming to the uh, insertion sort, uh, when we can use the insertion sort, it all depends on it is an effective when dealing with the small numbers. Where uh, four or five numbers is okay, but more numbers always bubble and selection sort is important. So coming to the applications using the insertion sort, mathematical applications uh, in the search for greater value or the smallest value in many other application. So we use the algorithm for the insertion sort is very simple. In insertion sort, the elements are compared and inserted to the respective index places. So I'll take an example so that you can understand. It's a, it starts with the comparison of the first and zeroth element in the past one. The second pass, the second element is compared with the first and zeroth element. In the third pass, again, third will compare with the zero, one, two. It is something like that. So let me take an example here. Algorithm is not needed. Yeah, this is an example. So example is given there are 75, 57, 25, 19, and 4. Now, same number of passes does not change. It is again maximum minus one, which is equal to four number of passes. So first time I'm comparing with the zeroth element with the first element. So 75 is greater than 57. So I need to change exchange. So 57 will come first and 75 will come next. Remaining elements are as it is. This is called first pass. You need not to travel through the array. Only the, this is called pass one. Coming to the pass two, again, first element is compared with the second element, not first one. Then 25 and 57 are compared. Then what I'll do is 57, 27 are going to be updated, uh, swapped. Again, second is going to be compared to the first one. In that case, uh, you, you find 75 is greater than 25. Again, uh, you will find, sorry, 25 is 57. Then 75, 57 is compared. Then 57, 75 will be sorted. So what is the difference in the insertion sort is uh, you're trying to sort the partially first one, two elements, then three elements, then four elements, then five elements. It is continuous process. So every pass does not need to scan through the entire array. Whereas in the first two cases, the moment I say pass one, the scanning is happening across the entire array. Whereas in the insertion sort, you are not scanning the entire array in each pass. In the first pass, only two elements are available. In second pass, three elements are available. 
the third case definitely the number of swappings are more in the insertion sort compared to the selection bubble sort if the uh, numbers are many that is the reason it is recommended that the insertion sort has to be useful when there are less number of data okay if more data it is always uh, taking a lot of time so again i think this self explanatory you can go through it so today i think uh, nobody is really active as well uh, as per you know my uh, understanding so i just would like to stop here uh, you try to uh, practice you no know, i'll share these two uh, ppts uh, where for selection and uh, sorting technique uh, pre processor command i'll discuss uh, tomorrow and uh, based on that you no know, i said uh, till 9th or 10th i'll take continuously classes so try to be active right uh, don't be passive so is that okay